I have a golden triad for anatomy. You have to be smart in what you learn during MBBS. And without any doubt, it is the hardest subject in your first year of MBBS. Let's dissect into one of the most difficult subjects of MBBS. In fact, one of the nightmares which every MBBS student faces, from sleeping at 8 o'clock during lectures in the morning, to being a virtual in the dissection hall, to being an artist in the histology lab, Anatomy is one subject which drains the mental strength of most medical students. By the time you learn where the bones break in osteology, the anatomy paper will have broken your back. Yet, as much as difficult as it seems, anatomy is still one of the most interesting subjects of MBBS. And without any doubt, it is the hardest subject in your first year of MBBS. In this video, I'll be sharing some of the tips and strategies which help me do well in anatomy. I'll be sharing some of the cheat codes which I have used in anatomy at the end of this video. In your first year of MBBS, you will learn how a normal human body works. In anatomy, you will learn about the morphology, structure and position of different elements which make up our human body. You will have to remember a tirelessly enormous amount of information in a very short time. Not only that, most of these terms are going to be in Latin and this is the first time you are going to be exposed to medical jargons. You will learn extensively about each muscle from where it starts to where it ends, about the arteries, nerves and veins that make up our body. You will learn how to identify bones and where do bones commonly break. Neuroanatomy will open the world of brain and spinal cord and embryology will teach you the events which happened before you were born. Let's get started on how to perform well in first year anatomy. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullah. Myself Omar Mohammed. I am pursuing my third year of MBBS currently at Burma Medical College Code Court. In my first year of MBBS, I was able to do well in anatomy and I ended up with a distinction with 81%. Tip number one is to use the correct resources. I have already made a video on which books to use in your first year of MBBS. The link is on the description. Do check that video out because, because there are a lot of resources out there and it's important that you do not get confused on which books to follow. Once you have the resources, it's important to know how to use them properly. The best teacher in anatomy is going to be your cadaver. If you could make the most out of your time during your dissection classes, that will actually help you master anatomy. Anatomy is all about having a 3D orientation of where the structures lie, and this is not simply possible by reading textbooks. If you want to have a true picture of where the elements lie inside your human body, inside your mind, you actually have to learn it from a human body itself. However, most of us, including myself, we do not have the patience to sit through the dissection classes three hours every single day of the week in front of a cadaver that pours out a formalin smell. Thankfully, in this digital era, we do have lots of alternate resources which help us get through anatomy and dissection even if we sleep through the entire dissection classes. I will get to those resources at the end of this video. In anatomy, you will have to think twice before making your notes. In the beginning, we try to write down everything which is said in the lectures and elsewhere, but soon we will realize that we start to suffer from an information overload. The textbooks are large enough that it's impossible to learn everything which is already written in those textbooks. Even if we do write all the notes, it would still be hard to go through those notes during our exam season, so I would recommend everyone to think twice before actually taking down notes in anatomy. Tip number 4. Know what to know. You have to be smart in what you learn during MBBS. You need to develop two skills. One, you have to learn the art of pick and choose, where you pick and choose exactly what to learn. And secondly, after learning that stuff, you need to learn the art of presenting those stuff during your examinations. As for the first one, I would highly recommend the book Paraclete, about which I have described in the previous video. I will get those shots here. This is the book Paraclete, created by the College Union of Connecticut Medical College. This is in fact the first book which has been designed based on the new CBMA curriculum. The book is filled with important topics segregated into essays, short essays and short notes. It also covers histology, osteology, embryology, genetics and is literally a complete guide for your first NDBS. The book is available in two volumes, one for the theory and the other for the practical. During our time, everyone used the previous edition of this book. Now the new edition has been created according to the CBMA curriculum. For more details, contact the link in description. I have a golden triad for anatomy, which includes diagrams, description and clinical importance. 
Try to use this triad for every possible answer during your examination. Forget writing low paragraphs or sentences. Instead, replace them with diagrams and bullet points and make sure to add a clinical importance in the end. You also have to make sure to use hematoxylin and use in pencils for histology diagrams during your examinations. That is how you crack anatomy. For more details and tips on how to crack your first MBBS examinations, do check out this video. Should you join a coaching institute? I did not join the coaching institutes during my first year of MBBS. In fact, most students do not join coaching classes during their first year. However, with the next coming up, we would certainly see a rise in the number of students who are going to prepare for next from the first year itself. Personally, I do not think that you have to join some coaching institute during your first year of MBBS. Instead, you should focus on building the concepts by reading the standard textbooks and attending your dissection classes in an attempt. As I end this video, I am now going to share three resources which help me immensely in understanding anatomy. The first one is Ackland's Anatomy Videos. Ackland's Anatomy Videos really helped me a lot to cover whatever I missed during my dissection classes. Let's say I wanted to learn about abdomen. What I used to do was that I would watch the entire video series on abdomen by Ackland and then I would go on to read the textbook. So by this process, I used to save a large amount of time because once you have a mental picture of where the organs lie inside the abdomen, you could actually read out the relations and understand them better. It's always better to learn with visions, which is at any time more effective than learning with words. Second resource is the Viva Verse of Anatomy. It's an incredibly useful resource to learn osteology and their videos are available on free on YouTube. They cover all the information which is necessary for your practicums in a really crisp and concise manner. The final resource which I would suggest to everyone learning anatomy are the Mitesh Dev Anatomy videos. Those videos are also available for free on YouTube. So with that, I end this video. Thanks for watching. See you soon in the next video.